uh, now cash security deposit so there is a direct uh, there is a direct event we called rfkk security release which is allow us to do the security deposit so you can say the contract account security deposit release the security deposit and then uh, we can do the uh, posting for the security not posting we can deposit the security deposit against that contract account now if that's a non cash like bank guarantee kind of stuff same we need to go there in that program and release that and link that non cash deposit returns okay now non cash is a bit complicated that's how the sap put a separate program for its and we release that through that program only manually. So you can see now non cash. So non cash, as I mentioned, it's a guarantee, it's a bank guarantee. And that will directly go to the bank. And if there be any request, it will come to the FICA as a uh, received security deposit. Okay. So mostly this non cash security deposit, which is a bank guarantee, we are not do the tax calculation. Sorry, not interest calculation, right? Because it's a, just a guarantee from a bank. So that's how we don't do the interest calculation. The interest calculation will be done by that bank only. Okay. So we just request, they put the bank guarantee and we uh, put that into a GL as a number. Like this is the security deposit guarantee number, no cash amount. So as I mentioned, the non-cash security deposit is like a paper or a contract details. So we upload that. So it's it's maybe a bank guarantee, it may be a mortgage bond or a saving account that are stored with some amount. So anything can be a non-cash security. Like somebody tries to build a textile mill, and for that textile mill, they need a connection of two megawatt. So two megawatt is very huge. They need to prove put at least two crore of security deposit. So two crore security deposit, they need to give their property like land or something as the mortgage bond. So that can be a security for the utility company. And then they will provide these connections. So uh, in that case, we don't have any cash. We just need to put that mortgage bond details in, in our uh, FI segment. Okay, and a statistical amount of that Cash security deposit are managed as payable, which can be settled according to the certain criteria. Whereas request for cash security deposit or change to cash security deposit can take place automatically when they register a business partner in ISM. It means now that bank guarantee, that bank guarantee or uh, uh, mortgage bonds can be converted into cash once the, the whole contract account, contract, everything is linked. And we apply a function called 1025 and to change that bank guarantee into cash. That means we link that bank to the cash. Now to link that bank to our uh, contract, we need the whole system to be in place. Okay. so. Uh, so setting up the bank is a separate part and that one setting of the bank is happened with the business partner and contract account and contract that bond or that uh, bank guarantee converted into cash. So the key code for the security deposit FPSEC1 to create the security deposit and to release the security deposit two, three. And if you need to check the history, FPD2 to do the calculation for security deposit FPI2. Okay. So this is you can do like in your systems um, anytime. You can create a business partner, you can create a uh, contract account, and you collect the security deposit. Okay. It will fit directly to HGL and get posted. Then you can go to FP0, FPL9 to check, or you can go to the FPD2 to check how much security deposit is happen.
that we already discussed this, but only one thing, as I mentioned, we have a program RFKK security release to release the security deposit. The periodic processing for the contract account is for this. Okay, so this is only the program which you need to recollect if you want to give some uh, some instruction to the developers that okay, uh, this program is like this. Create a G program and for a front end one to so use easily to do the security deposit. You can call that or you can just tweak this program to link the uh, interest payable something high or low like that. So now uh, this the request for cash security deposit is like very similar to this. Okay, you can link a uh, uh, you can link a letter with this smart form with this. Now once you created the business partner contract account and the amount you are requested, you can um, then select the cash or non cash. Okay, and then if you put like any request you can request that click that it will generate a letter go to the customer those things are customized you can do that through that program okay now this is the sap screen you, you can do like this now this is the uh, customization how the security deposit you need to link but when you are creating a security deposit you need a number range you need the parameters why you are putting security deposit, cash, non-cash, uh, what are the type of uh, non-cash security deposit or categories you can collect like bond or bank guarantee or uh, any affidavit. So those non-cash security deposit criteria you need to put and you can put the notes as well like, uh, like when you are collecting the amount or something so you can put the notes, okay. Uh, so those stuff you need to configure here and once everything is configured you can go to the screen fpsec one and uh, create a security project so that much so here we actually finish the fica all these uh, concepts uh, apart from this concept there are tables and events i already shown you once the tables and events once so those things you need to learn, uh, tables and events. Okay. So. so there are uh, there are two type of tables. You know, one is transactional table and master table or configure yeah. tables. So those tables you need to. Uh, go through and understand what are the exact role of those tables how uh, they are useful okay so you can see there are a lot of table names whatever the, we do the configuration it will hold into a some tables so uh, you can collect those tables like clearing region what is the uh, a table for that so whatever you configure it will be stored into a table and from that table when we do some transaction it will fetch the data and do all those stuff if any data is missing from any table it will throw the error with that table name that this table is not holding the data uh, so i'm just giving away just a vague details that these tables are there a lot of tables are there and these tables like you need not to remember everything but for the sake of the understanding, you can understand that all the tables started with TFKK, uh, TFK, and from there onwards, all the tables are FICA or FI uh, tables. So whatever the conditions we studied, whatever the functions we studied, credit funds, bank details, bank links, all are stored into these tables. Okay, I'll share this document with you. Probably you can have a look and if you want you can go to those tables and check what are the details you have apart from that all those transactions uh, the t codes you'll find uh, from internet like the transaction for fica you'll find from the internet okay 
some tables which are very generic in nature you can see them like these are the very generic business partner table contract account table contract table installation premise all these tables are there these are very common tables okay so that means the basic stuff is that we have um for front end we have t codes for back end we have configurations and when you configure that it will store into the tables and the tables will be activated or called when we use the front end uh, details and apart from that we have some triggering point we call them events and those events will uh like fq events is the t code for that and these events are triggered when we do some execution we can put some condition in each of the events like to uh, to do some extra activity or to do some customization so for posting like for posting document complete so 10 20 so these are the event numbers and each event has their own activity so they are in background when you call the t code execute it it will call some of the tables some of the events and execute and give you the results okay, okay. so in any sap system you go and put fq event you will find all these events apart from that what are the ex exact fic events so those are the list so fic events uh, so you can study these are uh, these events or you can use these events based on your requirement like if you want to put some installment plan so you can proceed with 3040 how to change the event uh, based on your requirement okay so these are the events any queries any questions So what next if you if you want to like next class obviously i need to get the server back and we do the configuration and uh, um once we completed the configuration end to end uh, that will be end of our class but after that you can proceed further as well you can proceed to learn more so if i is very generic to all of the installation, uh, all of the IS, uh, IS solutions like ISU, ISR, IS Healthcare, IS Event Management. So all everywhere you can use FI. FICA is also linked to the BRIM.